So you're going to load your advanced skeleton character. And then you're going to find the deformation system and shift click to open it, expand it all, the entire hierarchy. And you're going to find any extra bones inside the skeleton and delete them. So I happen to know that there were some extra corrective um, bones placed in for the knees and elbows. So they're called slide. So I'm going to find all of those slide bones and delete them. And I'm also going to delete the groups. I'm just going to go through and find them. And the reason why we're doing this is because it will throw an error. Um, Wonder Studio just wants a very simple rig to be exported. So there's one on the hip as well, one on the knee, hip offset. Okay. And then um, the skirt as well as custom. So any kind of skirt or ponytail or extra limbs you have, you want to get rid of. So I'm going to click on the skirt, get rid of that. And now um, I'm going to set this in a T pose from the front view. This is the other thing Wonder Studio wants a T pose out of the character, not a pose. So I'm going to rotate the shoulders and then the clavicles. until I get a T pose. And then I'm going to select, change my filter so it only selects mesh. Or yeah, grab all the mesh and then assign the material to Lambert one. And then I'm going to go into the hyper shader. And I'm going to delete all unused nodes. And then I'm going to select all of these extra shaders. Um, press select and hit delete on the keyboard to get rid of those. So you want to delete any other shaders that were created in the scene to clean the scene up. Uh, and any of these shaders that say Ray, we're going to get rid of those as well. Okay. And then we're going to clean the, the texture maps out. So go to Windows, General Editors, File Path Editor. And any errors you have here, we're going to delete. So select that and select it down here and hit delete. And then refresh the list. Just keep going until you get them all. And then it should you should have a green check mark here. And then we're going to go under the layers and delete all of these helpers that were created to skin the character. I'm going to delete the skin cage. I'm going to click on these nerves curves. Oh, I can't do that. Filter mode. Uh, so yeah, you can change this back to select everything. Um, then I'm going to find that, and that's all these mesh curves. So I'm going to delete all of those. Okay, so we've put the character in a T-pose. We got rid of all of the shaders, all of the textures, and all of the extra layers. And now I'm going to save this as T-pose. And now under uh, advanced skeleton export, I'm going to click on 
Wonder Studio export. And you want to make sure that you save this T-Pose Maya file before you do this because it, it's going to hose this rig and simplify it. So now I'm going to hit rename and reorder joints. good and then um, I'm going to hit export good and then if you want to find out where it exported it you can uh, click down here and it should show you right here on this log file where it spat it out oh, I'm sorry here and you can just copy that and then go into a um, Windows browser, paste that in. And here's the files that it exported. You need to load, you need to upload both of these files in Wonder Studio in the custom um, character upload section. 